for better days to come and carry us like wind in our sails. Hold on tight, I can smell the shore, it's right in front of us if we just hold on tight. Hey guys! Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. It's been a bit of a long break since we've done a video like this. All the last videos have been of us in Ireland and Canada. Um, this morning we had a bit of a lazy day. Um, Connor woke up quite early with the kids and let me have a tiny bit of a sleep in. We got the kids all ready for their breakfast and uh, the kids played around and then I had my breakfast and then what did you do? We had tickle time on the bed <laughs> and now we've come out for a bit of a walk and so we What are you doing? Just too busy throwing stones in the pond. Okay guys, this video is a little bit harder to video than normal because a big breeze has come through and the kids are wanting to throw uh, rocks into the dam. This is our property here, this is our dam on our farm. And now my head's half cut off, so I just thought I'll come over here and do the video myself so where Connor sort of distracts the kids, otherwise it's going to be a lot of yelling and I'm hoping that the wind that's coming through isn't going to disrupt at all. I don't want to be doing subtitles over the whole video. <laughs> okay, so for those of you that are new here, we are going through the process of moving from Australia to Canada. We currently live in Western Australia on our farm. Um, Wolf, what are you doing? One of our dogs running past. Um, we currently live in Western Australia and we were looking at moving to Alberta in Canada, but we hadn't been to Canada before. We have a whole heap of videos based on this if you look on our YouTube channel. Um, Alberta really appeared to, uh, appealed to us because of the rodeos, country life. Um, it was apparently one of the warmer provinces, as in you get these big Chinook winds through. So we decided to save up our money and go on a big trip there in the middle of their winter, our summer here in Australia. And that was in December. So you can see all the videos. There's a whole movie to Canada series on our YouTube channel and a playlist. So we ended our Canada series videos with telling you guys that we're going to be applying for our IEC visa, which is a working holiday visa. And then after that last video in, in Canada, we were heading over to Ireland. And we've done one video in Ireland, which was the family vlog. And then we've got two more to upload. But because of the whole coronavirus thing happening at the moment, we don't really feel like putting a travel video up is a good idea. People might think that we're actually traveling right now and not being very responsible. So we're going to upload those in a, probably a couple more weeks, maybe a month. And I just thought I'd jump on here and let you guys know where we're at with this whole visa process of moving to Canada. So, when we got back from Canada, oh my god, it's a big bull ant. They, they bite. They're like that big. Ah, go away. I'm trying to flick it away. Off you go. It's going. Um... So, since we've come back from Canada, Connor actually got his Australian citizenship. So, he's actually originally from Northern Ireland and he applied for his Australian citizenship here and he got it. And, um, oh, Harley, don't go on the dam. She's not going in, is she? No. Harley's got arthritis and, yeah, going in a dam's good, but it's very deep and I get worried that she'll get halfway and then start drowning or something. Um... Anyway, so yeah, Connor got his Australian citizenship and we'd been in the pool for the IEC working holiday visa for a long time now. I had gone into the pool using my Australian passport and Connor had gone in using his UK passport. But because UK doesn't, well, Australia, the Canadian government doesn't give UK people an unlimited amount of spots for the IEC visa, he's been he was in the pool for a very long time. And I'd been given two acceptance letters or invitations to apply using my Australian passport but I kept declining them because once you get your um, invitation to apply I think you've got 10 days to say yes or no and then once you say yes 20 days starts and you, then after that you need to go and get your biometrics done which is your fingerprints but they don't do your fingerprints in Perth which is our local uh, our closest city you have to either fly all the way to the other side of Australia to Sydney or Melbourne or you can fly three and a half hours to Bali which is an island in Indonesia just above Western Australia so we decided if we had to do that we want to do it together we don't want to be going separately we've got the kids we want to make it into a bit of a holiday so I kept declining my invitations 
And then once Connor got his Australian citizenship, we applied for his Australian passport. He just got his Australian passport and we've just gone into the pool together. And um, the COVID-19 coronavirus has just come around. So no one's getting invitations to apply at the moment, which is a good thing, obviously. But um, we are just sort of at a standstill. Um, we're also at a standstill with selling our house, obviously. Um, it's just not meant to be at the moment, unfortunately. We feel a bit hopeless and like we're in limbo because we can't sell the house. No one's really doing home opens or anything at the moment. We can't fly even if we did get our visa and visas aren't being handed out at the moment. So that's where we're at with our visa. We were looking at, instead of doing our IEC visa, applying for permanent residency straight from Australia. But the visa we have to apply for is a trade visa for Connor and he will have to do a red seal exam to do that. And to do the red seal exam, he has to go to Vancouver. So then again, we wouldn't be able to go do that because COVID-19, can't fly to Vancouver. So this whole big story is we were applying for the permanent residency, decided not to because obviously you have to fly to Vancouver. If you're flying to Vancouver already, you may as well just go over there when you do your IEC visa and then apply for permanent residency. So that's where we're at with the whole visa situation i just sort of feel like maybe we're lucky we haven't sold being out here on our 40 acre hobby farm is pretty amazing while this whole quarantine isolation things going on we wouldn't want to be smack bang in the city um in western australia they've actually blocked off different regions so we're in the wheat belt region and we can't actually access the city even if we needed to unless it's an emergency. So they've gone full on lockdown. Um, Tilly, or well, I was a teacher before I had the kids, a primary school teacher. So I've been homeschooling her for two weeks. And as of next term, which is in another two weeks, they're officially making every Australian homeschool. But back to the visa, um, we are really, really excited. We cannot wait to move to Canada. And we have pretty exciting news. As soon as we land in Canada, in Alberta, once we finally sell our house and we get our visa and we move there and take the three dogs there, um, we're going to be boarding the dogs for probably three, maybe four months over there. We've been contacting a few uh, horsey people over there because I used to ride horses and a few of them have offered to take the dogs on their farm for payment. Um, that way they wouldn't be in a kennel for too long. Um, they wouldn't, they'd be able to stretch their legs, be in a barn and get really well looked after. And the reason why we're looking at boarding them for that long is because we're going to go and buy an RV and we're going to travel through British Columbia, Alberta and I'd love to go up to Alaska but we want to do it slowly and take our time so I'm not going to promise any Alaska trip yet but that's what we're planning on doing and I'm really 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 excited. Um, childhood dream come true and I feel like now would be the time to do it because well when we move over there we're not taking any furniture we're just taking probably two suitcases each so when we get there, if we were to go and rent straight away and then buy furniture, get jobs and do all that and then go, okay, now we've been here a year, let's go travel, it means we have to sell everything or put it all in storage. Whereas if we do it as soon as we land, we can go and hire an Airbnb for maybe a week or two while we look at buying a truck and an RV or a caravan. I don't know what you call them over there. Not an RV where it's joint to the cab. I mean, we're going to buy a big, like an F truck and then have the trailer on the back we call them caravans in Australia um, we're probably gonna hire an Airbnb for two three weeks then in that two three weeks board the dog somewhere go get an RV or whatever you call it caravan and a truck and then map out our route and then off we go so very exciting news just thought we'd keep you guys in the loop Connor wishes he was sitting here too but with having two kids three dog three dogs <laughs> um, it's a bit hard for us both to sit down and I thought I'd take you guys down here and just have a look at our dam and our beautiful property. You might think, why are we moving from such a nice property? But you don't see the behind the scenes of the billions and billions of flies and the 40-something degrees. Like, it's supposed to be, what is it, some uh, autumn, autumn at the moment. And it was 40 yesterday, 40 degrees Celsius. So it's hot and we get a lot of flies and stuff. There are days I'm not gonna lie where I do contemplate oh well maybe we could stay it'd be a lot easier not spending all that money moving we could put that money towards a better house more land I'd ultimately like a couple of hundred acres would love a couple thousand acres but 
that would mean going further inland into Australia and not being able to be closer to amenities that we would like to be. So yeah, that's all the reasons when we've made a video of this in the past, um, I'll link it up here, of why we're moving from Australia and moving to Canada. When we move to Canada, we will be settling down after we travel for a bit and buying a ranch once we get our permanent residency. And we'll be living the same amazing life as we are here, but instead of having the extreme heat, we'll be having the extreme cold. <laughs> So just a bit of a difference and um, just something we really want to do. Anyway, guys, I'm going to leave it here. I need to get back, cook some dinner for the kids, walk back to the house and everything, obviously. Um, but, yeah, make sure you subscribe, like, follow us on Instagram, do all that good stuff. And we'll see you guys soon. Oh, and if you have any questions, comment below, please, and ask us. And if you've got any suggestions of videos you'd like to see from us, let us know. Upcoming is going to be the next two videos from Ireland. One's a Game of Thrones touring one. And one is oh, exploring Northern Ireland. See you guys.